What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Beta Memoirs. And today, another out of left field uh, tank into close. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you guys are managing your risk. Um, like I've been talking about over the past couple of days, uh, this is uh, foreseen. We have Fed important Fed meeting notes tomorrow, extremely important. And again, I've talked about this about the past uh, couple of weeks. Um, Janet Yellen had come out about uh, two Fridays ago and kind of threw uh, Powell under the bus and then walked back some statements only for the next last week, last Tuesday for Fed to drop tweets about inflation, essentially kind of trying to pressure Powell to raise rates. Uh, with all that being said, I think this is leading to the meeting notes tomorrow. And I think in anticipation, like every Fed meeting that we've had, uh, essentially during this pandemic, uh, normally these, these reports don't have uh, such a big toll, but when uh, there's uh, major events going on, like we currently are, um, there is a lot of weight on what is currently going on uh, coming out of those reports. So being said, um, the biggest thing tomorrow to watch for is uh, the FOMC uh, notes. They come out at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and then be followed up by uh, Powell at 2.30, uh, typically is what happens. Uh, so the market is waiting for that. And, and normally what we've seen is uh, big drops in anticipation of these reports or whenever uh, Powell comes on. And so that's what we're seeing uh, into close today. Uh, a lot of stuff wanted to really run today, and then it died out and held. It's been holding that range, uh, essentially, that I've been talking about, even looking at uh, the SPY now, which I can actually pull up. Even the SPY now, uh, going into close, uh, there was this dramatic sell-off. There wasn't a lot of... Um, a lot of stuff is actually holding when it was going into close. Um, especially second tier. I noticed a lot of second tier uh, held very well. Um, some big stocks like your Amazons, uh, Tesla did sell off, but it played range. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. There was a major sell off. Uh, I'm not really quite sure what sold off so dramatically much that made this big move down. Um, I wasn't really seeing it and a lot of the same uh, tickers that I do trade. It did pull back a little bit, um, but um, being said, uh, we did have a, a big oil drop today as well. Uh, gold's been pushing up. And so there's just a lot going on. But tomorrow, everybody's waiting and anticipating what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind as, as your 2 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time report. Uh, once uh, the market digests that, uh, we will have another major move from there, um, especially uh, with the sensitivity to these reports. Uh, just be ready for tomorrow. Uh, it's You can also just sit out tomorrow and watch and see. Uh, that's uh, primarily what I will be doing. Uh, I'm more sell bias in the morning, uh, going into essentially the report. And then from that point, I'll let the market digest it and then take positions after that. Uh, but being said, I think we're, we are still good. I think uh, the market still wants to go up. There's still, the bulls are still there. Um, again, there's just this normalization process. You're going to see a lot of chop. Uh, just be familiar with that. Don't get chewed up. If it's too much, uh, just sit back and chillax for a while and let this thing kind of play out. Uh, it may take a while. So uh, SPY, as you can see, it's selling off. I'm recording this uh, at or almost at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you are seeing a little bit more selling here. Uh, but we are still holding, right? And that's the good thing. We're still in this range. And I've been talking about this range. Uh, we've had some dramatic push-ups and pullbacks, but again, we're still holding range. I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if we do uh, possibly sell off or gap down overnight. It could be a possibility. Uh, and then the report be okay. Uh, Powell uh, come out and say everything's uh, fine and dandy, and then we pop back up. I'm kind of looking for that uh, pop at the end of the week is what I'm looking for, ultimately. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we do gap down. I didn't grab anything to the downside uh, tonight. I did grab some gold calls. Uh, gold's been running. Uh, so I'm looking, I uh, have a little bit of time on that. Uh, but uh, ultimately, I think where there will be a pop, normally gold, uh, any kind of metals essentially will pop uh, before there is any kind of uh, conversation 
with uh, Mr. Powell. But being said, um, that's what I essentially got for SPY, QQQ. Um, QQQ was still looking, uh, it was looking solid today, still holding range. It looked like it did break down. Although, again, I don't really know what is dragging us down. I think Apple has kind of lost a lot of steam and got some bad news today. So that might be what is pulling down QQQ. Uh, Facebook, look, it might have been losing some steam as well today. Uh, it tried. Uh, it looked great on uh, the technicals, but uh, it looked like it caved. Tesla is holding well. Um, so just be mindful of that. But as far as the watch tomorrow, I think, uh, again, industry leaders are something I've been really been talking about. Uh, I got your Tesla Facebook. Uh, Facebook, even right now, Facebook, I'm looking to the downside until it hits major support again. Uh, Amazon um, could be uh, good for the put side if we do sell. Uh, Tesla, I think, is going to hold fast, essentially, until the market turns around. I don't think Tesla is going to be doing much more selling. That's just my opinion. And again, anything is possible, but I think Tesla has found solid ground and just waiting for the market to figure itself out. Um, and then Tattoo Chef is the other one I have, which is a value uh, stock that I wanted to bring up today. Uh, so Tesla, like I said, um, it's been holding this range very well. And today, I was actually surprised it popped up. Uh, there was a lot of good news uh, today about Tesla. And I know uh, Biden came on the horn today. He did, was talking. He was at the Ford plant today talking about electric vehicles. And so that's why we got this initial pop. I was not expecting Tesla to break this zone at all. I knew as soon as it got here, it was going to play this range until tomorrow. And uh, once everything got digested tomorrow, uh, then we'd see a move out of here. There's a lot of consolidation here. So I do believe there will be a huge move out of here. Uh, but I really do not see it going to the downside. I don't think there's... Um, I don't think there's anything with inflation that is going to sink uh, this that dramatically much. If it does, uh, this will be a very uh, tough uh, resistance point to get through after that. Um, but we'll have to see what tomorrow brings. I think after tomorrow will really give us direction, uh, at least until the end of the week. And then I have to check for next week. I don't think there's anything else. But I think um, from this point, we should be good. Uh, to get some movement, I think, up. As long as nothing's too crazy tomorrow, I think we should get some movement up. Uh, maybe uh, just confirmation that, hey, yeah, there is there is inflation for Mr. Powell. Uh, if he does say, uh, come out of left field and say they're going to raise rates, uh, I can see a major drop in the market at that point. He has reiterated many, multiple times that, that it's not going to happen until sometime uh, next year possibly even late next year, even 2023. So being said, as long as he sticks to his guns, although the rest of the Fed is telling him he needs to do something, uh, I think um, as long as he sticks to his guns, I think we are fine. Uh, but again, if he does uh, randomly change his mind, um, that could be uh, another big uh, correction on top of this, I do believe, from that point. So we have to see what happens. So the next I do have on the watch is uh, Facebook. Uh, Facebook it was breaking out in the wedge. I actually took the wedge off. Uh, it broke below that and just started selling. Again, I am watching this 300 zone on Facebook. Uh, Facebook like Tesla. Uh, we do have some space to sell. So if we do sell off, we should be okay. Just as long as we hold the 300, uh, if we do hit 300 again, I'll be loading here. Uh, with a very tight stop. If um, Facebook does break below this, I can see some dramatic selling at that point. Uh, but ultimately, this has been a solid support. So uh, watching this tomorrow, if we do get some dramatic selling overnight and possibly even in the zone, uh, I'll be grabbing calls um, in that and shares as well. So uh, that's why I wanted to bring this particular one up because I think uh, Facebook is always a safe bet. In my opinion, right now, you need to be going with safe bets. Uh, companies that are extremely strong Facebook being one of them, um, when it dips, uh, look for the strong supports and buy at those strong supports. Uh, and again, don't be be quick to cut if it does drop below this because it is a major support. Uh, but again, this is not financial advice. And that's what I got for Facebook. Amazon is the other one. I think today, uh, there's a major support here as well for Amazon. Um, yeah, you also have the 200 moving average right underneath. Uh, so being said, uh, this is a solid support for Amazon. If we do uh, tank into this tonight um, and hold here tomorrow, it should be good for calls out of here, out of this uh, 3150 mark. If for some reason it does break down, I do not hesitate to cut it uh, or um, 
or get puts to the downside, right? Because I think uh, there could be some uh, selling to the downside if that is the case. Again, you have that 200 moving average that is sitting right there. So if that does uh, possibly break, uh, you have to be aware that um, there would definitely be a lot more selling. Once it breaks that, that 200, uh, it's typically a, a no-no at that point. But we'll, we'll definitely have to see. Uh, that's why I want to stay with uh, the leaders and play them. Uh, because they'll they have the most momentum. If you're a scalper, uh, always go with the lead, industry leaders. Uh, they do help a lot as opposed to chasing momentum. Uh, you also have liquidity and everything else that goes along with that. Um, when uh, essentially the movement of the stock uh, will definitely help you, especially during times uh, like this. Uh, so being said, uh, Tetris Chef is one I wanted to bring up. Uh, had this massive move today. Uh, but not only that, on the daily, it looks fantastic. It finally broke out of the wedge. Uh, so ultimately tomorrow, I'm looking if it, we can come back to this 1824 mark. I don't really know if we're going to come that, that low. Uh, we did have a big rip out of this. Um, but if we can come back, probably 18, 1840, if we can get back into this level, uh, it would be good for continuation play on this. I do have some room here, so I do like to see that, especially on the daily, uh, something we could actually use to swing for a while. I'll actually be probably grabbing shares in this uh, tomorrow if um, if we do get a nice retest, especially with everything going on. It's good to have a good value play. And I think this uh, could lead us up uh, to that. But that's uh, pretty much what I got for you guys. So remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And guys, please manage risk. Um, if the chop is beginning to be too much, uh, just step away. Uh, give it some time. Let it work itself out. Uh, don't get chewed up in this hot mess. Um, but that's what I got. So until next time, guys, I will see you later.